Hey guys, it's Thunder Splash, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about how to make your character respawn in Unreal Engine. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click the blueprints up top and we're gonna click on game mode, edit third person game mode. Next we'll click and we'll search for event begin play. After that we'll click and we'll search for get player character. Then we'll connect the node and search for bind event on destroyed. After that, we'll connect the event begin play to bind event on destroyed. And we'll grab the event and we'll search for custom event. And now we're going to relabel this to respawn actor. And then we're going to create a branch. Next, we'll click on Destroyed Actor and search for Get Class. After that, we'll create a variable titled Lives. We'll switch it from Boolean to an integer. Hit Compile. After that, we'll get the lives and drag it onto the event graph. And then we'll search for integer greater than integer. Next, we'll connect the branch condition to the integer greater than integer. After that, we'll go back to the branch and we'll connect the print string to false. Next, we'll right click and look for spawn actor. And then we'll go to spawn transform and split it. After that, we'll go back to the spawn actor node and we'll search for decrement integer. Then we'll grab the limes and attach it to the decrement. Next, we'll connect the decrement integer node to true. After that, we'll click on the return value and search cast to character. Next, we'll grab the node from cast to character and we'll search for possesses. After that, we'll connect the node from possesses to bind event to on destroyed. After that, we'll go to Possesses, click on Target, and search for Get Player Controller. Once we've done that, we'll click on Bind Event to All Destroyed, click on Target, and search for Get Player Character. Next, we'll connect the event from Bind Event to All Destroyed to the respawn actor custom event. Okay. 
hit compile. Right click, look for blueprint class, choose actor, and rename it to instant death. After that, we'll double click on instant death blueprint, switch to viewport, and go to add component. We're gonna look for a box collision. Now let's rename it. After that, hit compile. Now we go back to third person game mode and we're gonna change the lives to three and then hit compile. Next, go back to Instant Death Blueprint, go to Event Grab. Now we're gonna click on Event Actor Begin Overlap and we're gonna search for Destroy Actor. After we've done that, we're gonna connect the other actor to the target. Compile. All right, so now that we've done that, let's change a few things on the map so we can show the player respawning. Alright, so next we're going to go back to the third person game mode blueprint and we're going to change the spawn transfer location to wherever we're trying to have the player spawn to. Hit compile, hit play. All right, so now all we have to do is just clean up the map a little bit and then add instant death into our scene. Resize it, move it around, and then we should be good to go. And there you go. All right, guys, and there you go. So the player's jumping around, okay? And as soon as they hit instant death, they respawn back to the starting location. And they'll do this three times until all their lives are gone, and then it'll say game over in the left-hand corner. All right, awesome. 
All right, guys, and that's it. That's how you add a player respawn in Unreal Engine. Hey guys, if you like these type of videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.